one. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do in making this little, I'm gonna do a standing collar. And I'm gonna show you two different types of collars that you can do, and they're much like what you've already done. But I'll just show you how to do it versus on, on the dress form versus just making taking measurements. So we're gonna do a standing collar. Okay, so anytime you are draping, you have to have a, um, a guide or you have to have, you have to know where your points are, where you start. So you have to have a lengthwise and a crosswise point where you begin your drape so that you get it on the on grain and where it's supposed to go. So what I'm gonna do, and there's a couple other things with draping that's very different than flat pattern. When we did flat pattern, we did no seam allowances, right? So with draping, you do seam allowances. You put seam allowances in. Part of that is so that you can put it back on the dress form. Without a seam allowance, you can't, you don't know where, how it fits in and where to do it. So that's one thing. So I've got to do my grid, my lengthwise and my crosswise. And anytime you have a straight line, you want a one inch seam allowance. Anytime you're dealing with curves, then you want to do half inch or five eighths. All right. But then when you do the style line of a collar, we only use a quarter inch. So those are industry standards for draping. So we'll remember those. Okay. Now I'm going to, as I mark on this muslin, I'm going to use my felt pen, which you guys will never use. So you guys use pencil. Do not use a pen, um, but just use your pencils and you'll come out okay. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to give this a one inch um, seam allowance here on the lengthwise grain. And then I'm gonna do a one inch on the crosswise. Okay, now I don't always do that, but for this one, that's what we're gonna do, okay? All right, then the next thing I'm gonna do is we can go ahead and start putting it on. Once I get my grid lines my, and I know where I'm gonna start, I could go ahead and do my seam allowances and I'm gonna fold it, okay? So I'm gonna fold this back right here. And as you fold this, you can press it, you can finger press it, you can run it along here. You can just do your fingernail. Muslin actually holds the crease really well, so I'm just gonna use my fingers and get a press. Okay, so then the next thing I'm gonna do, because I've got my nice right angle to where I'm gonna start, and on my dress form, I have a nice little pin cushion here, okay? So if you guys wanna put a little pin cushion here, and we have some like batting or something in the back you can make that with. But having a little pin cushion right here just kind of helps me. And the other thing is you don't want super long pins and pins with a head can be tricky. Um, so if you just have some of those really cheap little pins, they actually work the best. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do, I have my little pin and I'm going to put my lengthwise and crosswise point right here at the base of the neck. Okay, and then I'm gonna put my pin and I'm going to put it towards where I'm working, okay? So I'm just, so what you do is you just go in, get it in there, and then, okay, that pin is kind of big. We have big ones and we have little ones. So I'm trying to find our little ones. And I can't find any, but I know I put some in here. Okay, anyway, so as you get your pin, put it in there. Yeah, see, these are kind of big. Okay, anyway, and you wanna bury your pins if you can. Some, like the ones I'm using are kind of big. Okay, once I get this up here, I'm gonna go ahead and pin straight along center back. Okay, but I haven't marked it. So I'm just gonna pin it and I'm gonna go kind of towards where I'm working. Okay, now if you notice this, as I go around, that looks really difficult, doesn't it, to do much with. So there's a thing, a, a problem here. When I go around this curve, I've got to clip where my seam allowance is or it will not smooth go smoothly around. And you can actually do the neck, even the next ones I do, I'm gonna do this before, but I just wanted to show you. 
So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start doing some clipping here. Now, do not clip through your seam allowance. When you're working with paper and we automatically cut it too much, what do we do? Tape it and recut. Well, guess what? You can't tape fabric and you can't staple it. And so you have to start over. So be very careful not to go past your seam allowance. And I'm gonna kind of go, oh, and don't cut the dress warm. Okay, so I'm going to now bring this around the neck. So this is a straight line even uh, on, well, the collar seam here is a straight line, even though it's curved. But look how nice that is now with just clipping that. See how I can get that to go around? So I'm gonna go around and I'm gonna go right to center front. So the very first pin I put in faced this way towards my work, but every other pin I do, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna face it towards where I just finished, okay? And I'm going to feel here where that center front is. And if I have to kind of, there we, I can feel it right there. I'm gonna put a pin right there and I'm gonna go back to where, like back where I've just been, okay? So these are little kind of picky little things, but they will help you a lot in your draping of where to put the pins. Okay, so I've got this and it's looking great. So now I'm going to, okay. So I'm going to mark, now that I've got it on the dress form and I've got it where I want it to go. And I'm, I can even put a pin in. I'm just, I'm gonna get a bunch of pins here so I can take my pick. Okay, so now I'm gonna go straight up along center front and put a pin in here. Okay, so there's my center front and I've got this around the neck really good. So I'm gonna put a pin where the shoulder is. Okay. Because I need to mark that. Okay, so there it is. All right, so I've got it draped. It's ready to go. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mark it. Care well, I'll mark mine really carefully. You guys will have a pencil so it won't be so bad. And I'm gonna mark where I need to mark it before I take it off. Then I take it off and I true up and finish up my lines, okay? So I've decided in the back that I'm gonna go an inch and a half. That's about as much as you can go. So I'm gonna go ahead and put a, a line, a mark there. Okay, so there's inch and a half. Then I'm gonna come around here and I'm going to mark where my shoulder seam is. And I've followed the neck, so there's no neckline seam to do. And then I'm going to mark where center front is. Okay, and I can feel it right here. And then I'm going to mark an inch and a half here, right along. And here, I'm actually gonna do a little L. Okay, so can you guys see that little L? So what that does is that shows me the direction to go down and it shows me where to go for over. So because I don't have I don't have another line there to like here I've got this line so I just need to mark that direction but here I need both. So those little L's we do a lot. Okay, so I think I've got everything marked. Now I'm ready to take it off. So you're going to take it off the dress form. And you might break a few nails, but sometimes we have to sacrifice. Okay, so once I've got that, then I'm going to put it up here and I'm going to finish marking it, okay? So I know that this is a straight line, which is why I only marked at the beginning and the end. And now I can take my ruler and I can finish drawing that. Okay, now this one is an inch and a half from here. So I can pretty much just go from the neck to the shoulder. It's pretty straightforward. Okay, and actually it's following a, a straight line because it's right along the neck. So I can go like that. Okay, oh, and I went up a little bit high. 
So let me redo that line. Okay. All right. So now let's label. This is my center back. And I'm going to cut that on the fold. This is my center front. And it follows all along center front. So I'm that whole line is center front. And this is my shoulder. So I just need a mark there. And then I'm going to write on here. This is my uh, standing collar, I can call it, or I can call it a Chinese collar. And how many of these do I need? I'm going to cut two because I want to have the actual collar and then the facing. So, and then put your name on it. Okay, now there's something before I finish, I got to mark something else. Do you guys remember what it might be? My what? Seam allowances. Seam allowances. So they're quarter inch because on a collar edge, you do a quarter inch and then I'm going to go over here and do a quarter inch. Okay. So now what I'm ready to do is to actually cut this. When you turn these in, you cut them right on your seam allowances. Let me try and cut this up in the air. I normally take it down. Okay, there we go. Okay, so this is what I have now. Okay, so that's a standing collar or Chinese collar. And now what you're gonna do is put it back on the dress form. Okay, and test it and make sure it looks great. Okay. And just bring it around. And there we go. And then you would turn this in.